Well, this roller coaster weather creating incredibly poor ice conditions out there. The initial deadline to remove ice houses on the Twin Cities' biggest lake is March 6, but officials say do it now. Uh, Rose Schmidt joins us live from Lake Minnetonka with more on this urgent warning. Rose? Well, with the melting and refreezing cycles, deputies say ice houses could become stuck on the ice and cars could go through the ice, which they've already seen happen. We've been fishing. For the ice fishers who spend their days out on Phelps Bay. The weather there has uh, been uh, challenging, but uh, with the rain last uh, yesterday, it was a lot of rain. Mother Nature brought conditions that were less than ideal earlier this week. I don't know if I'm willing to risk driving my truck out on the ice. And it is a risk, says the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, especially because the ice forms differently across Lake Minnetonka. So you could have a spot where there's 20 inches of ice and then three feet over there could be six inches of ice. You just don't know. So that's why we tell people it's never 100% safe. Deputies say over the last several days, they've responded to multiple incidents of cars going through the ice. They spent Wednesday afternoon training Minneapolis firefighters how to use airboats to conduct rescues. Thin ice is also why the sheriff's office recommends ice houses be removed from the lake as soon as possible. When I was drilling holes today, I'd say the top uh, eight inches was a little soft. The melted snow is sitting on top of the lake, creating puddles that look like open water. That's what you should avoid. So you should always be looking for really dark, clear ice. That's going to be your thickest and strongest ice. And know that the channels from one part of the lake to the other always have the thinnest ice. I check the ice, make sure everything's safe where I'm where I'm driving. Other parts of the lake that I haven't checked, I'm not driving on them. Deputies don't recommend driving on the ice, but they say if you are going to, keep the windows rolled down and have safety equipment with you like ice picks, blankets, and flotation devices. Reporting live from Lake Minnetonka, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9.